if I wanted to take the blood that's in my right atrium and send it to my stomach and back, I would obviously first need to go to the right ventricle, the pulmonary trunk, the pulmonary arteries to the lung capillaries where the gas exchange can occur so this blood can become oxygenated, then pass this red oxygenated blood through pulmonary veins to the left atrium, the left ventricle, and then the ascending aorta and the arch of the aorta. From there, the blood would pass through the descending aorta, first the thoracic aorta in the thorax, and then the abdominal aorta in the abdomen. In the abdomen, blood would pass from the abdominal aorta into this short celiac trunk, which quickly forms three branches, the hepatic artery headed toward the liver, the splenic artery heading towards the spleen, and the left gastric artery. It turns out that all three of these can send blood to the stomach, however, except different regions of the stomach. So, for example, if I was sending blood to the lesser curvature of the stomach, it would pass through the left gastric artery. If I wanted to send blood to the greater curvature of the stomach on the lateral side, I could send blood through the splenic artery, which would then form a branch known as the gastroepiploic artery, which would reach the greater curvature of the stomach. I could also send blood through the hepatic artery, and before it makes its way to the liver, it forms two small arteries, the right gastric artery and the gastroduodenal artery, both of which can serve the pyloric region of the stomach. And so, the celiac trunk forms these three branches, and each of these three branches can send oxygenated blood to different regions of the stomach. The deoxygenated blood, which then collects in these three separate regions of the stomach, could then be drained through three separate veins. So, the lesser curvature of the stomach can be drained by the gastric vein. The greater curvature of the stomach near the spleen can be drained by the splenic vein. And some of the stomach, such as the pyloric region, can be drained by the superior mesenteric vein. These three veins empty into the hepatic portal vein. This portal vein does not empty into the inferior vena cava. Instead, it proceeds to the liver and, along with branches of the hepatic artery, forms the sinusoid capillaries which proceed through the lobules of the liver. From the sinusoid capillaries, blood drains into a central vein into hepatic veins, which then drain into the inferior vena cava, and this blood is then returned to the right atrium of the heart.